Hey everybody, Fred here for Tag Media Network, and today I woke up and my Apple mouse and keyboard weren't working. So, after looking at where the green lights are on the bottom, I found that I got two blinking lights and then it would just go blank. Okay, so I knew that my mouse and keyboard aren't working, and you know that your mouse and keyboard aren't working also. I urge you to not watch this video if you don't have this problem. This is simply for the people that have this issue right now. I'm assuming, if you're watching this, you're probably using a backup mouse or keyboard, and you're debating whether or not to go out and buy a new keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to fix this this uh, this problem. So you're going to want to open your system preferences. You're going to want to go to Bluetooth, because that's what the problem is. On my computer right now, you can see that these, my mouse and keyboard are both connected. This, uh, for you, will show up red here, red here, and red here. Not connected, obviously. So what the situation is, is that your Bluetooth card has actually just drawn a blank. So the way you're going to fix this, it's not out, it's not dead, you can easily fix it. What you're going to do, you're going to want to turn off your computer. I'm not going to do it right now, obviously. But you want to turn off your computer. You want to, after the computer is unplugged, make sure, by the way, make sure you save all of your, like, Final Cut files or Photoshop, whatever you're working on. Just Because every now and again, I'll turn my computer off and I'll accidentally not save something. I'll be really pissed once I get it back online. But you want to turn it off. You're going to want to unplug the power supply, so the one cord in the back. And then any USB cord that's in any USB ports, you want to unplug those. Doesn't Your Ethernet cable doesn't matter, and any audio cables, those don't matter either. Just make sure all your USB cords and your main power supply are unplugged. Leave those unplugged for around 15 seconds, and then you're going to want to plug them back in and then turn your computer back on. Your, your, uh, while that's happening, make sure that you flick the switch on your wireless mouse and push the button on your wireless keyboard so that they are discoverable. Make sure you leave this discoverable, by the way. Chances are or probably, most likely, for me at least, I couldn't hit this on this on button right here. Uh, it was just unchecked, and every time I tried to check it, it just wouldn't go. But just make sure it's discoverable once you're turning your computer back on. You're, what you're doing is, un, with unplugging everything, you're just resetting every single card, and you, like basically that's the memory of the computer, so it, your, blue, your, uh, your Bluetooth card is going to be another thing that gets back online. So in doing that, everything, it, sh it should re be able to uh, tie in your mouse and keyboard again, and you should be good to go. So that's my uh, short tutorial on fixing a problem like this. I noticed that on a thread on the Apple website, um, other people have had this problem too, and I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on it because people have been going out and just buying brand new keyboards and stuff, and I think that's nonsense to sit for a situation just like this. Can't tell you though, next time I need to buy a mouse and keyboard, I'm getting a wireless one or a wired one because I hate having to use batteries on my mouse and keyboard all the time because I use my computer a lot. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for this, this short tutorial. This is Fred for Tag Media Network. I want to thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.